Did you know Wix has its own AI image generator? And in this video, we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to see if it's any good. So here's how you can actually access the image generator. So once you're on Wix, you want to go to your website, then go to the plus icon and add elements. And then you want to click on image. And once you do that, you should then see the AI image generator. So if you scroll down, you'll see it here, create AI image. So go ahead and click on that and it will open a box. And this box here is where we're going to create our AI image. Now this is in beta, so we're going to put it to the test today and see how good it really is. Now you can see grayed out, we've got adjustments that can be made to our AI image. So you've got crop, adjust, filters, and so on. And we can obviously edit our image after we've created it. Now the real test here is going to be how good is this AI image generator going to be and how high of a quality image can it generate? So here we can see we can choose a style. Now, I don't know if this is my computer or because it's in beta, but they don't have any covers here. So we can't really see anything except from the text. So I'm going to click on cartoon and I'm going to write out a prompt here. OK, so this is the simple prompt that I've wrote. A penguin riding on a roller coaster, big eyes, smiling, happy. And again, we're going to keep it on the cartoon style. So let's click create image and see what image it gives us. So let's see how long this actually takes. OK, so that was not what I was expecting at all. It is a very cartoony image. I mean, it is what we asked for, but it's a bit 2D and cartoony for me. So we're going to change it to illustration and then recreate that image. And I'm not sure why there isn't any graphics here showing. OK, so this one is very bad. Let me just try one more. We'll try photo or we'll try 3D. <laughs> this one's not great either. So maybe we want to stay clear of Wix's AI image generator and give them a little bit more time to develop it. For simple things, though, this could work. But right now, as recording, it's not great compared to its competition. Anyway, if you want to use the image, this one is very creepy. You just click use image and then you can either like select a ratio for this. So maybe we want 16 by 9 and then save as well as adjust and do all of this editing on the left here. And then it's going to import the image into your website. Now this penguin's staring into my soul, so I'm going to go. But that's how you can do it. Hope that video did help you out.